Hello everybody and welcome back to another character showcase. Today we are checking out Miles, which is a bull based character. We've got a bunch of trinkets on his little horns here and some little sort of tinkers goggles on. We're starting with Nine Inch Nails and the belly button, which has given us the chewing gum trinket. Gulping our current trinket upon travelling to the next floor sounds pretty interesting. And we start with the BX5, the building bull's bowl of bits and bobs, whatever the hell that means. Uh, spawn to five familiars that copy uh, some of Isaac's tier effects. Um, fly boxes have three uh, times three tiers, have 0.25 damage. Familiars are removed every floor. So does that mean if I use this and travel to the next room? I do keep it. Nice. Okay. So this guy's all about crafting up extra, like, incubuses, essentially. They're, they're not exactly like incubuses. They're kind of like little drones, but in, they're in a similar sort of vein to incubuses. And we can craft up to five that we that we keep throughout the floor. So getting things that allow us to charge stuff up is going to be really good. And also, it says that it keeps some of our tier effects as well. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty interesting character to play around with. Um, we do start with slightly lower stats. We've got adrenaline here. Obviously not the best of the best, but we'll keep it. Yeah, we've got slightly lower speed, slightly lower fire rate. We do have average damage, so that's fine. Uh, this, this is only a three-room charge active as well. I'm interested why we start with nine-inch nails, or eight-inch nails as they're called. I think it's because the character just wanted, uh, the, the mod creator just wanted them to have uh, nail-based tiers, and the damage has been removed, because as sort of a, a crafting-based character, it kind of makes a good amount of sense to fire nails, right? Kind of like a nail gun-esque sort of thing. It makes sense to me. I like it. I like it. But um, I like the idea of the character being a bull, a bull as well. That's pretty interesting. What's um, that's just a decent question of the day. This. What's your favorite animal? And on top of that, what animal would you like to see be another character in Isaac? And obviously, this character isn't very bull esque in its abilities. It's more just a theming. But I wonder if there's any sort of uh, animals where the characteristics of that animal would kind of work towards an interesting idea for a character. Um, like playing as a cheetah that's got really fast speed and low, um, low sort of stamina. Is that, I wouldn't say stamina as such. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of trapped in here. Okay, so having a second bot has actually made my bots a little less accurate, which is slightly concerning. Ooh, I do have spectral with my bots, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, so I having extra bots has, has put them to the side of me, like Twisted Pair. Help up is very, very nice here, and we do get some uh, damage from adrenaline because of that. So yeah, it kind of begs the question what do we want to be trying to hit things with. Our main tier and having our little drones just do a bit of extra damage or using primarily our drones. Because at the minute we've got to aim in a specific way to hit one or the other. We're not going to be hitting all of them. But definitely, I'm feeling the lower fire rate and damage right now. I'm going to go back over here and uh, get another charge. So it seems like, on average, we're going to be getting three to four drones for our boss. If we're going to get be getting five drones, I reckon that's going to be when we find battery charges. Or if we have an item that allows us to use more charges um, on the floor. But that's something I'm going to be checking out our shop for as soon as we have the money to do so. Because I think getting nine volt or something as this character seems just super, super valuable. But yeah, so we can pop another one here. And this is a bit better because now we have one in the middle as well. And there's our shop. I will check it out and just see what we've got in there. See, I shouldn't have checked it out. <laughs> I shouldn't have checked it out because now that item is uh, is gone from uh, from our roster. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can make that work in our favor and somehow get enough money. With only one bomb, it's not super duper likely, is it? I mean, we'll, we'll go fight the boss and see if we get... Um, See if we get our self-pageant boy or something like that. There's also an item from something wicked, I believe, that gives us uh, a golden penny. So there's there's a chance. There's a chance. It's not a super high chance, but there's a chance. We shall see. But you can see our damage is actually pretty decent here. Pretty decent. Kind of reminds me of um, a mix between Lilith and um, who, uh, and sort of tainted Eve. Kind of reminds me of a mix between those two in a way. But it looks like we're going to get a pretty easy kill here. Now, we do still have the boss butch mod on, so we might be seeing some new bosses along the way here. Unfortunately, we didn't get what we wanted here. But I will try my best to see if we can... Ah, I was hoping we could maybe get thingy here. Let's get something else. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm trying to think of any which way we can make this work. There's, 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 a, few, there's a few potentials. A few potentials. Oh, these are other gaps. Unfortunate. 
Okay, so the only other way of right now is secret room potentially, which I think is above from us here. I'm gonna have to do a bit of bit of checking around to make sure. Yeah, I'm glad I checked because it ain't gonna be there, knowing that's there. Come on, fires. Drop me a dime. Damn you. Okay. Basically, I need a secret room that's gonna allow me to get more bombs or more money. That's that's kind of my only way, and I'm pretty sure we're here. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, it's not what we're looking for. But, but, the hearts there are good. We can do some stuff with the hearts. Take the half heart. Unfortunately, we didn't get another bomb. I was really hoping for another bomb. But let's come in here and play that. And then we'll grab that. And we'll do it again. We did get a penny there. We're on seven cent. Seems unlikely we're going to get any higher than this, doesn't it? But let's 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 just see what other rewards we can get here. I'm trying my best. Um, there's just not much chances. Then I lose I lose my burn heart after doing this. I need eight cents still, which is quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed. Um, is there anything I didn't destroy in the shop? I don't think so. I'll go check though. No, there isn't. We got this guy here. I really want that 4.5 volt. It seems like it could be really, really good, especially for bosses. I'm going to I'm gonna play a bit risky here and, and trade some HP for the chance at a chest. Which could give us... It gave us a bit of money. Not enough, though. Okay. Um... That's not actually what I wanted, but thank you. Items to give heart containers also give two soul hearts and tears up plus one soul heart. Okay. Damn it. We got so close. One second. Yeah, unfortunately now I don't think there's any way that we can move forward. Because I can grab the troll bombs, but after that, there's not much point. I need a few more hearts to make this work, and I just don't have them right now. It is quite the shame. But we did get an item out of this. We got ourselves um, this reliquary item, which seems pretty good. Seems pretty good overall. It looks like we're going to be leaving without 4.5 volt, which is a bit of a shame. I'm going to go to the alt path this time around, and chewing gum should get gulped here. And that means every following... Yes, it did. There you go. We got the boiler. Uh, that, that should mean that every following trinket will get gulped. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? It didn't get gulped. It made the gulp noise, but it didn't... It didn't get gulped. Interesting. Um, I'll take two of these. Why not? I don't know if having two of them is any use to us, but there you go. Yeah, so I don't exactly know what happened there. Um, we should have gulped the chewing gum. We didn't. It even, it even made the gulp noise, so... Particularly confused by that. Ooh, this is a, a rather, rather tricky room here. I'm going to try and take out the main cloud guy first. There you go, yeah. And these guys are not anywhere near as bad. Now that they're on their own. But yeah, having two of this uh, nightmare thing might mean that we get um, two of them on hit. Or just 100% chance, I'm not entirely sure. Some hearts there is nice. We do lose some damage for that though because of adrenaline. It is what it is. It's kind of fine. I'm really hoping we can get some interesting tier effects to go along with these fellas, though. Okay. You guys are going to spew up into the sky, aren't you, when you uh, die? Indeed you are. Got to be a little wary of that. I'm going to try and bail out of this room the moment I kill that guy. There you go. I'm going to quickly go back and check out the trap room here. Uh, now that we've got full red hearts, we should be able to take a little look-see. Honestly, worth. Um, I got hit straight away there, which I wasn't expecting. I am going to open these spike chests as well, because I have my mod on that adds um, item pools for spike chests, which are on-hit effects. And we already have some on-hit effects working with us here. So there's one of our, our demons, our little shadow people things. These enemies are pretty, pretty tough. Foghorn boys aren't too bad. Not exactly easy, but yeah, the nightmares, they stick in one place. They can only take damage, I think, when they're circling us. I don't really remember what you guys do. 
You're going to be annoying either way, aren't you? Okay, you've been charmed. Is that helpful to me at all? Okay, you got back in your body. No, thank you. We need another another drone stat. Okay, you're charmed again. Good, good. And I'll crack both of these open, as I said. We did get an on-hit effect trinket, but not an on-hit effect item, which is a shame. Range down isn't particularly bad. Yeah, I still don't know what's going on with chewing gum. I'm going to keep it or on me for now. But yeah, we've got two of our nightmares here now. That's nice. Take that. I'm playing a bit risky with my health, I do realise. That was a very, very nice bit of TNT there. Yeah, playing at risky with my health, but I'm hoping this reliquary item will help us out uh, with some extra soul hearts and such. I'm not quite sure what's going on with these dudes. I don't remember. But I'm worried. Okay, we've got we actually got decent range with the drones, even with our, our low range stat. Now, we do have eight, uh, enough money to check out this shop. Let's see what we've got going on here. Um, not ideal. Shoots a dagger that sticks into enemies, prevents them from running too far away from you. Upon use, when the dagger is attached to an enemy, rips it out, applying Solomons. Can rip out automatically if the enemy is too big. Sounds kind of interesting. I'll try it out. I've not I've not used this before. The Dream Snatcher. Can I uh, grab stuff? I was hoping maybe I could like grab stuff over gaps with it, but that's wishful thinking, that is. So we got that guy, but it didn't apply any Solomons there. I think he didn't die while it was attached or something. I think he managed to pull too far away. Yeah, that, that missed that time. Let's take this guy out and then let's attach onto you. Okay, no, that didn't kill him either. Okay. Still, I mean, it's doing some damage. It's nothing to turn our nose apart right now. Just a, It's a little confusing on how to make the most of this thing. But then not be oh there you go. That's what we want to be seeing. We're up to four drones here. How did that miss? <laughs> it went like right through him. Maybe he's just too big. Okay, there you go. Come on, nightmares. Nightmares also have good herming as well, as you can probably see. Oh, there you go. Did the, did that there. There's Solomons is on him. I think with Solomons, they take like a bonus 20% damage or something. I can't remember exactly how Solomons works. Okay, luckily he went straight into the pit there. I do like this version of um, of Wormwood here. Okay, we did okay there. Managed to keep our uh, deal chance alive. And we actually got a deal as well, un unexpectedly. We get a nice black heart from that. We get some bombs, lovely. I'm going to keep chewing gum for one more floor and see if it see if it works. Okay, Dark Prince's Crown, when I'm one heart or, or less, that's pretty good. Okay, that's, that's actually changed from reworked items. It's just one heart or less now, so it's still working. And if we take Gimpy, it is still in effect good. The Dark Prince's Crown is easier to activate now. Again, playing risky with my HP, but I think Gimpy's a worthwhile item to grab, right? There's the gulp sound. And it didn't gulp. Okay, so that's clearly got some sort of bug going on with it at the moment, unfortunately. Okay, so basically the start of every floor, we have to be reasonably worried. Okay, this enemy. This enemy is awful. I got rid of one of them. This is just too much creep, my guy. Especially when it's like Monstro's Lung style arcing. It's really, really hard to actually know where the creep is going to land. Okay, wow, that uh, that moved at some speed. The soccer ball seems good. It's just kind of chilling now, though. I don't know what y'all going to do yet, but I don't like it. So sometimes they don't explode, sometimes they do. I'm not really sure what the why that is. Can you die? Thank you. Okay, finally got our drone going. Lovely stuff. Hoping we can get some good HP coming up here. Oh my lord. Yep, yeah, that was horrible. Oh my god, no. I didn't realize there was flies there. Okay, we are on the brink of death right now. Let's be uh, oh so very careful. We do have a soul heart there, but we don't currently have enough to pay for it. Okay, the brink of death. Not all bad. I'm not going to use my um, my 
active for a hot minute here because I honestly still don't really fully know how to best use it, utilize it. And I think I'm just going to pull an enemy into myself and hurt myself, which is not the uh, the ideal outcome here. Now, as someone suggested in a previous episode, it's actually beneficial for me to turn myself into the Lost so that I have more HP here. Wasn't expecting a bunch of enemies in here, so hope I don't die. Good. We get ourselves that. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to turn ourselves into this here. Now, Holy Mantle is nerfed in the version that I'm playing right now, so it's not going to be quite as good. We don't get Holy Mantle every room. If we lose a Holy Mantle, we have to complete a combat room to get it back. Uh, but it's still better than having half a heart, so... And obviously we get flight and stuff alongside, so... Restock? Wasn't expecting that, but I will take it. Can these little bits of cloud go away? Thank you. If we get quite a lot of money this floor, we can buy a bunch of soul hearts, potentially. Obviously having spectral here is nice. Okay, so... Going into ghost form there didn't really help me, did it? Because it took me out of ghost form when I completed a combat room. I didn't realise that. I forgot that it did that. We can go back and re-enable Ghost Form for the boss fight here, just to make sure we survive it. There you go. Okay. Got a boss. I don't fully remember how it works, so forgive me if I uh, if I do a really, really bad job of this. I am going to use some bombs here as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the fire there. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was kind of sketchy. Okay, um, I'll take this first. Puts us back in the running. Hey, and we got plus two soul hearts and fire rate. That is a great item. Very happy with that. And then through here, we just got Cramperino here. Got him. And you can give us good old lump of coal. Good stuff. Um, okay. I think I'm just going to go down regular path now. Although I do get a curse if I go this way. Oh, well, I'm going to go this way anyways. By the way, if you're wondering why my trapdoors have curse icons above them, I'm using a mod called Accursed. That basically, it means that every trapdoor gets assigned uh, either no curse or a random curse. And you can actually circumvent a curse by going down a different trapdoor. So, for example, if you find a secret room that has a random trapdoor in it, or an error room, or there's just like... So, or you have, like, we need to go deeper. Basically, it means you can somewhat pick the curses that you come up against. Get our drones going in. Lots of sack room availability here. Lots and lots of sack room availability. But yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of hoping for more health upgrades from the uh, from the boss fights now. That seems like it could be really good. Beautiful. Our fire is amazing right now. We really don't want to go over two red hearts, though. So we want to be trading away our hearts whenever possible if we're getting health upgrades. Because we want Dark Prince's crown still active, considering the fire rate that we have. I don't know why I went in here. Um, the door was obscured, and I didn't realize it was a cursed door, so that was very much my bad. We did get another, like, little dark fella out of this, though, so not all is lost. Dude, our drones are firing at some absolutely insane speeds right now. It's, uh, it's kind of incredible. They, they're putting the work in. Be careful here. Can I trade my active at some point? I'm not a massive fan of this one. Like, the Solomons just doesn't seem that useful when you're not playing the Solomons character. Okay, this is this is awful. This is really, really hard to navigate here. Can I bomb you, the, your heads off of you guys? No, but I can just bomb you. Lovely. Okay. Shop is here again. Unfortunately, we are monetarily challenged at the moment. So that's not super viable for us. And another drone. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just love the, the sort of incremental power this guy gets throughout each floor. It's nice. That was kind of close. Your power rises as you, as you go through the floor. Ooh, random nickel there. Lovely. We should have enough knockback to stop this guy from charging us, I think. It doesn't matter anyways. He is absolutely done for. We did get another HP up now. We'll lose our thingy here, but I'm going to pick this up. Okay, it did work. Good, 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 good. 
I just wanted to see if it would. We still got decent fire rate. Not as good as we did have. Still decent, though. And then we've got more red hearts to trade away when a devil deal becomes available to us. So I thought that was worthwhile just to test out. Because it was a modded HP upgrade, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. If it was, like, pre-coded. But it seems to just be anything that raises... Any boss item that raises your HP, it works. Dissonance, I don't really need that for now. All the, like, single-use, like, one-room uh, use cards, I, I don't really find that useful in this game. Like, apart from in really dire situations. Ooh, now that's that's gonna alleviate our monetarily challenged status. <laughs> that's a lot of cheddar. Lovely stuff. Okay, we can go back to the shop now. Still searching for battery-based items if we can get them. Oh, no, there's so much money there that I just lost out on. <laughs> you evil... Fools. Oh, baby. Okay, I was not expecting a C-section run here. Now, I don't know. Okay, it it seems that these little dudes have absolutely no charge up and just fire C-section shots. So this could be alarmingly strong. Like, like, unbelievably strong. Also, to be fair, another thing I'd like to see is birthright. Ooh, pop, pop. I do like pop, pop. And we'll buy that as well. Do you know what? I'll also buy that as well. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, considering these seem to be rapid firing C-section shots, this could get pretty ludicrous. I am hoping for a damage up soon, but C-section should carry on its own for a little while here. I would imagine. I would imagine. So that finally, finally we gulped chewing gum at some point. I don't know. I, don't, I, wasn't, I haven't been looking, but... Okay. So, I, unfortunately, the C-sections fired by our drones do have pretty low range, um, which is a shame. But they, they still seem to be doing good work, and obviously, they have the homing and all sorts going on with them. Another drone's about to come in. Oh, yeah, baby, this is amazing. And with Lump of Coal, remember, as well, Lump of Coal is adding to it. Another sack room. We've had a sack room, like, every single floor so far. That's a lot of bombs. And there's more money. Lovely. We liketh the shop. So that's very, very nice. And with more drones, the more powerful this gets. There's another drone, baby. We're up to three already. On these later floors, you get your drones pretty quickly. Yeah, once you're at three drones you, with, with C-section set up, you're kind of set for the rest of the floor, I think. Everything's dying pretty quick. God damn, so many bombs. Not that we need them, but thank you. Damn, look at them all go. Up to four, baby. We're going to make it to five this floor, looks like. Pretty easily, actually. These two L-shaped rooms and we're, uh, we're up there. Annoying large room. As I said, our range is a, is a bit of a stopping point for C-section at the moment with the uh, drones. And the knockback as well, actually. The knockback is providing to be a little annoying. What art thou shop an item room? But yeah, we're up to five now, which is our maximum per floor from what I read. I don't think utilizing our uh, BX5 will do anything after this point. Unless it like upgrades the drones we already have, but I don't think that's the case. It didn't say anything about that. I'm wondering what the um, what the birthright is going to end up doing. I'm guessing it'll just kind of be like BFF where it'll proper beef up our drones or something. Yeah. Yeah, if we use it now, nothing happens. Okay. Um, sell items or pickups? Mm, that's probably better than what we've got, yeah. Oh, wait, what? It said sell items or pickups. I tried to sell this item. What, what, what the heck? I'm confused. Found our boss. Still, unfortunately... The item room is back over there, so we have to go back for that. Okay. Let's make our way back. Unfortunately, we still have yet to have a damage upgrade or a speed upgrade, which are two things that I think would benefit this character in a major way. <laughs> Especially the speed. Starting with lower speed, it's, it's, it's feeling like Maggie all over again. But combat-wise, we are having no troubles. Oh, Lord. This room's going to be... Uh, <laughs> A bit sketchy. 
That was a hell of a lot of little, uh, little spurters there. So the good thing is that our regular shots still have better range. Good, good. Whoa, ho, my God. Okay. Well, this is quite the run. There's our damage up we were looking for. What's going on with this active? How does it work? Sell items or pickups in the target mark. Okay, I thought it was just everything in the room, unfortunately. So these guys actually still fire pretty fast. Our charge up now is, is slower, but these guys still fire pretty fast, and they now deal extra damage. Um, this is going to be pretty wild, I reckon. It upped our damage by five. So more than double. We're probably going to shred this boss. Oh, we got one of the new bosses. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing it for very long. <laughs> Not even a single attack. One of the new bosses. Pretty cool. We got Rainbow Fragment here, which is going to give us some pennies of various variety. Nice. Um, and the shop didn't have anything else for us, did it? Let's carry on going down. This is our last floor with a shop, so with restock, we should try and make the most. And with our uh, active here, we should try and sell some stuff. Oh, let's get a drone going. I was like, why am I so slow? What's going on? I don't have my drones with me. My drones are my power. Still need to reactivate um, our Dark Prince's crown at some point as well. I'm missing out on the extra fire rate from that. Good. So where's the mark for... Yeah, I, I don't really understand where the... But, like, I want to... For example, if I want to sell this heart, where's the marker from this active? Is this active also not working as intended? That would be a shame. I don't have to worry about my, um, my drones being off-centered now, because they home. So it no longer matters. Come on, you range upgrade. So yeah, what I've got at the minute is an active that produces a penny once every four rooms. Yeah, so let, let's try and sell something from in here. Let's try and sell this heart. Oh! So I've got to kind of push things into that marker. That's a pretty interesting way of doing it. Pretty interesting way of doing it. Interesting. Another drone for the drone spots. Wow. I wonder if I can sell a penny. So how how are you, it's not going to be easy to sell items, is it? Like pedestals on the floor. They've definitely changed this. It definitely used to work that way. I swear it just used to sell everything in the room. So wig I'll be taking, thank you. And then here's our lovely last little shop. We got grants the effect of a random mapping item every floor. That's pretty good. Although black candle's probably going to be the favourite here. Oh, BFF. Okay, I'm going to have to try my hardest to somehow get that. Right, um... Hmm. Looking for things to sell. <laughs> Looking for things to sell. I need BFF. If it works with these drones, I need it. So, if I sell the heart, I guess? I don't know, I need to wait for like better things to come along, I think. I always find this room really funny. These guys just kill themselves immediately. A soul heart. Some extra pennies. Ooh, an arcade could be pretty useful for us here. Boom bow. More fire it, lovely. I expect this will be contraband work. It? No, it wasn't. Okay, so I think at this point, I am ready to sell. There you go, baby. We got BFF. Beautiful. It's a really awkward way of doing things, but hey her. Right. BFF, y'all better do something for me. 
I am wanting this to turn my drones to, into big, big boys. One of the items I've been looking for the whole time. Make our way back over this way. We're at five drones as well, this floor. Like I said, most floors now. Oh, it's 17! I forgot! God damn it! <laughs> okay, okay, we can get two more cents somehow. We can, we can do it. Even if I have to use sack room to do it, we can do it. Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What was the last thing I picked up? I don't remember. I can use that token to get some more money. Okay. I've done it. I've done it. The token has saved us. <laughs> My goodness. This was silly. The token just becomes whatever the last thing you picked up was. Much better uses than a single penny. Make him big. Yes! It did! I think that just doubles their damage. Man. This thing works so well with charge-up shots. I wonder what this thing's like with Monstro's Lung. Oh yeah, that's some chunky damage right there. Oh, coming down, give us an error. Always does when uh, I'm fighting Red Mum. Ow. My bad. Oh my god, I just got hit by every single one there. But we got two soul hearts for it. And we can finally get rid of a red heart here. Um, Or can we? So what, what are we going on here? Plus two damage for each enemy near you. Most of enemies try to attack you. Um, try... Most of enemies trying to attack you, taking damage saves maximum built damage until entering the next floor. Interesting idea. If I get soul hearts from either of these, then I might buy that. Otherwise, I don't really have enough health. Unfortunately, I do not have enough health. I will get this, though, so that we finally get our fire rate back. Actually, do you know what? No, we just got a bunch of parts from that, so I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. It just seems interesting. Basically, we gain bonus damage for enemies around us, and if we get hit, we keep that damage. And we gulped our trinket now as well. Lovely. Right. Honestly, I will take Monster Manuel and I will keep it. I think at this point, Monster Manuel is going to be a bit better for us than money that we don't need. Although, thank you for some more money that I don't need. Right. As soon as we... Yeah. Look at that fire rate. Oh my goodness. It's insane. Oh, we've just created a machine gun drone. I, w I don't know if like the C-section interaction is like an intended interaction, or if it's just like kind of how it works. But it's cool. I like it. I'm definitely down for it. The fact that that's one drone. You can feel the lag in these larger rooms. I don't know why larger rooms still always lag. Beautiful. Still, unfortunately, didn't get a range upgrade there, but there's a drone number two. It's actually nice to have Monster Man well with uh, BFF. Temperance. No, thank you. Actually, to be fair, I might grab the Temperance because I can uh, force Dark Prince's Crown to be activated if I... Uh, Take another health upgrade at any point. Another drone in the mix, baby. Lovely stuff. Nothing stands a chance, especially with Lump of Coal on top of all of this. Taken care of, good fella. Don't need the extra keys right now, so I'm not going to bother picking that up. I'm straight into the boss. I'm not going to bother using another active pull here. I'll do a uh, space bar, but I'm not bothered about using my actual uh, drones because I want one straight away on the next floor. Just a bit of damage, lovely. A good bit of damage, that as well. Yeah, we just kind of need to have a drone straight away. Oh, I've kept one of my familiars from the last floor. From... What the hell? My, my like, Bob's brain, Nabu brain, whatever this thing's called, I've managed to keep. I don't entirely know why. Ow. Not a good hit for us there. 
Again, lots of money that I don't need. I love the fact that my drones have Spectral as well. That's very strong. Okay. Let's keep this trainer moving. I love the Herman coming in from either side there. Drone three. I think three drones is is all we're ever going to need every floor. So I don't need to get past that. If I do, I, like, good, good. But I'm not going to farm it until I get to the boss to get enough to get to five sort of thing. I just don't think I need it. Like, at this point, I'm obviously going to pop it for four. But now, I'd, I'd rather just have the charge left and ready for the next floor. So if I come across my boss soon and have a charge ready, I'm just going to keep it. It's weird how, like, the more drones you have, the slower the sound gets. Like, the sound of firing has slowed down now that I have more drones. See, now I have an extra charge left, but I don't as much point to grabbing it. Beautiful. Try my best not to get hit. There you go. I say, I've not got a lot of health to work with here. We did get a Devil Deal, though. Interesting. Um, we, we got... What, what cards we get here? Death and Fool. Not the greatest. Uh, Eye of Balor's pretty darn good, but it would be very, very risky to take right now, which is why I'm going to take it. Eye of Balor's just a lot of fun. And also... On showcase runs like this, I don't mind losing the run, uh, especially if it's like past womb. I don't really don't mind dying. So if I if I die, I die sort of thing. I'd rather like play around with some more fun stuff. Unfortunately, I should have tried to capture this where I was on the door, so I could have escaped still. Right, we get ourselves. Who are we getting here? Peach creep. Good old peach creep. Peach Creep's the best little fella. Okay, let's not with the lasers, thank you. Isaac shouldn't be too hard here either. I'm a bit scared for Blue Baby with this amount of health, but Isaac, as long as we don't get hit again here, should be fine. Isaac's not that hard of a boss. Blue, new, new Blue Baby, reworked Blue Baby, is definitely a reasonably hard boss. Thank you for killing them swiftly. Ah, bollocks. It's more the ghosts I'm worried about because they can kind of somewhat telefrag you. Like that. Ah, oh, he, he didn't really telefrag me. That was more just me walking into him by accident. But I'm going to call it telefragging so I don't sound as, as low skilled. But we are now on one HP, so Isaac is not as easy as I was imagining. But we are now back on two. I was actually really hoping for that because he can give you an angel item as well. And although angel items can be good this late in the game, I much prefer the soul heart most of the time. Okay. Card wise, honestly, it's 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 a massive gamble because the unknown could give us literally anything, including stuff that damages us. But I'm pretty down for it. Okay, we're up to five drones now as well. I'm pretty down for the unknown on the boss fight just to see if it gives us, like, HP. Basically, it'll just use two random cards, of which we have no idea what they're going to be. We did, however, get a, a giant prop pot, which I haven't seen one of these in a while. And what item will we get? Juicy sack. I mean, it's a familiar, and we do have BFF, so can't complain too much. Oh my god. The light beams. They worry me ever so. We good? We good. And we get ourselves. I don't even know who I got there. Looks like we got the uh, sunken fly, is it what it's called? The, the one with the big, the big puffy cheeks. Yeah, see, we got stars there, unfortunately, which has teleported us miles away. It did, it did like, do a damage effect, but I think that's our, um, our Razor Trinket. 50% chance to do on-hit effects when using a trinket, uh, using a consumable. Honestly, we should do this as well. See? 
worthwhile. Oh, man. Am I goddamn glad I came in here? Okay, that was that was good stuff. There's also apparently a soul heart in that L-shaped room that I completely missed, so... We put ourselves in a much better position here than I would have expected. Yeah, this, I completely missed that soul heart. Good, good. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad I teleported back out then, aren't I? Very glad. Oh, we got a D4 there. Oh, I hit myself. But there was a soul heart in this room anyways. Probably from the card activation. You can see we just absolutely demolished Isaac thus far. Beautiful. Ah, I got hit again there. My bad. Right, let's go through. I don't know why we've got tears circling us. Not sure what that's about. Boom, bow. Shroom face. While shooting every three seconds, player farts and spawns three spores. Spores explode, knocking back and confusing enemies for one second. If it attaches to an enemy, knocks back and confuses for five seconds. Unfortunately, these two are the only ones that I care about here. Oh, wow. That was uh, a little bit of a rude introduction to a room there, I've got to say. Take a pill. Hello, baby plum. Taken care of. And our familiar is going to be. Oh, both the brains, baby. We got both the brains the slow and the fast, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Amazing. Right, let's hope we can actually beeline it to our boss here and not take too long. The big Johns here are going to be slightly annoying, but not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. I think we're going the right way here by the looks of things, but with these flaws, you just never know. The game do like to be pranking. Oh, that was close. And four drones, another familiar. We have become the king of familiars right now. Hey, I didn't realize we'd have some of these um, new bosses appearing in random rooms. I like that. That's good. Good to see them being utilized, not just in boss rooms. I was kind of hoping that would be the case. I just didn't expect it to be. You can tell a lot of effort and love went into that mod. I mean, you can tell that by the showcase I did the episode yesterday. Uh, day before, even. Um, but still, cool to see. How are you still alive? Come on now. Excuse me? Oh, there's a... I see you. Right. Now, this guy will be a little bit tricky, but he'll die fast. Luckily, Aya Balor is giving us a bunch of extra damage on him, too. Which is, you've got a few attacks that, with my low speed, are going to be a little tricky. Oh, actually, no. This has been a... This has been a piece or piss. The double Bob's brain there. There you go. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. Miles is a really cool character. Really enjoyed them. And we got a really cool build for them. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.